Hey, church family. In John chapter 8, we have the story of an adulterous woman who is brought before Jesus by the religious leaders of that day in an attempt to trap him. The woman had been caught in the act of adultery, and according to Jewish law, she should be put to death by stoning. Those trying to trap Jesus wanted to know what punishment he thought was appropriate. Jesus told them that they could carry out the sentence that the law required, just so long as any one of them who was without sin would be the first one to throw a stone at her. We're then told that at this, those who heard began to go away one at a time, the older ones first, until only Jesus was left with a woman still standing there. Jesus straightened up and asked her, Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? No one, sir, she said. Then neither do I condemn you, Jesus declared. Go now and leave your life of sin. There are several lessons we can learn from the words of our Lord in this encounter. The first is that this woman's sin is forgiven, but it's not excused. Jesus is not pretending that he doesn't see the sin. He calls it what it is. He calls it sin. But Jesus offers this woman grace. It's grace accompanied by truth. He told her, Neither do I condemn you. Go now and leave your life of sin. The biblical word for what he was calling her to is the word repentance. When you turn to God and receive his offer of grace, you have to turn away from sin. We're living at a time when many would say that it's wrong to say something is wrong. What we need to remember is that refusing to condemn what God condemns is neither loving nor graceful. God has given us a voice to speak grace and truth, and I pray we would do our best to follow the example of Jesus and be known for both. I pray that as people who've been forgiven, we'd be among the first to forgive others when they do wrong, but along with the forgiveness would be the encouragement to go and sin no more. In Jesus' name, amen.